Right, welcome back guys to Clash Fitness. Now, a lot of you have been asking about my diet and give up diet updates and things like that. And apologies, I must apologise. I am a little bit slack in that department in, um, in making a lot of uh, sort of vegan related or nutrition related uh, videos on what I do. Now saying that, there's a great guy out there called Shaolin Swan. I've uh, been chatting to him a lot on Twitter, so I'll leave a link down below. He does a lot of um, a lot of the things that you guys have been asking me for, and he's got a very satirical view on diet and all that sort of thing. So it's very amusing, um, and it's very educational, very good blog. So I'll leave the details down below. Please click on it and show this guy some love as well. Okay, but what I wanted to talk about today was how to get into a vegan diet, okay? So a lot of you are saying, oh, I'm interested in trying it out, I want to try it out. Um, and there are various pitfalls to doing that, and a lot of people try it and give up very easily. So today I just want to talk about, okay, if you are interested in taking up a vegan diet or certain principles of the vegan diet um, and seeing how it works for you, um, more power to you. Let's have a look at the pitfalls, let's have a look at some of the think challenges you're going to come up against um, and let's try and make this, uh, sort of give it some longevity for you, so, so uh, give you some long-term health and things like that. Another email going off there. Okay, so the first thing that I would say um, when going into a vegan diet is you are going to get resistance, okay? So you need to be prepared for that resistance. And it comes down to a message that I give a lot on this channel, and it's about setting your goals regardless of what anyone else thinks, okay? So positively or negatively, it doesn't matter. If you've decided that you want to try the vegan lifestyle, the vegan diet, um, you need to set that goal and with utter disregard to what anyone else thinks, okay? Because you are going to come up with resistance. You're going to come up with a lot of uneducated opinions. Uh, your friends, your family will not be happy about it, okay? Now, pretty much anywhere I go, I'm always the fittest, healthiest, leanest, strongest person in the room, okay? But all the fatzos and unhealthy people and all the rest of it are all telling me my diet's unhealthy, my lifestyle's unhealthy, blah, blah, blah. You should drink more milk, you should do eat more meat, um, you know, the occasional burger here and there is not bad for you, you should eat more cheese, blah, 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 okay? They're all fat, they're unhealthy, they don't do any exercise. And I was saying to my man, Charlene Swan, the only exercise that these guys get is taking their weekly dump because they're so constipated on their crappy diet, okay? It really is that simple. Okay, so you just have to you just have to bear in mind all the people that are throwing that negativity out there. Just look at them, look at their health, look at their fitness. Are they really the? Are you really trying to be like them, or do you just want to set your goal and say, right, this is the this is the diet that I want to try. I want to see what the results are going to be, and just focus on that and ignore all the positivity, ignore any uh, sorry, ignore the negativity, ignore the positivity if there is any. Just focus on doing what you need to do. Have a look at your health um, and keep keep doing what you're doing basically okay so that's my tip number one tip number two is don't just uh, jump in at the deep end okay and this 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 goes for most things in life um, but a few people on, on, on my uh, blog and on the YouTube channel are saying okay I'm, I'm ready for the vegan vegan diet I'm going fully raw okay going fully raw from the from the get-go um, to me, this is this is a pretty extreme way of, of, of tackling it. Um, and with within sort of veganism, there's various vegans, and it, <clears throat> it's why I don't really like to, to get involved too much in in being vegan and all that sort of thing. I, I I'm a vegan because it helps my performance. Isn't there's no real other reason than that. I think for me personally, it's the healthiest diet. It's the diet that gives me the best performance, and it's the diet that, that makes me feel the best. Okay. I don't really care what other vegans are doing or saying, you know, you've got your raw till four Nazis, you've got your um, high fat, low carb Nazis and all the rest of it out there. Everyone's got their opinion and no vegans seem to get on with each other. So I just ignore all that as well. So if you are going to become a vegan, don't throw yourself in at the deep end. Uh, don't don't commit yourself to only eating raw or only eating fruits or only eating certain types of, of vegan um, dinners, you know. Whatever it might be, just do what you enjoy, okay? So I really enjoy cooked food, and I might eat cooked food two times a day. I might eat cooked food once a day. I might not eat cooked food at all in an entire week, but I'll just do what I want. If I fancy some cooked food, I'll eat some cooked food. 
you know I don't eat a great deal of bread or grains but sometimes sometimes I will if it's convenient to me I'll eat that you know so you just need to you just need to sort of set your set your own boundaries ignore what everyone else is doing set your own boundaries and and work towards them you know if you want to be mainly raw that's all good you know work towards that but you know if you're out and about and you're hungry uh, don't don't starve yourself you know just get some cooked food you know if it's still vegan it's still vegan you know don't say I only eat raw or I only eat fruits or I only eat this that or the other you know as long as it's healthy as long as it's uh, relatively low fat or whatever it is that, that you're trying to do within your own bubble that's all good okay and then thirdly it's about sort of calorie intake making sure that you're getting enough calories okay so the most important thing is the that your body is getting enough calories and enough nutrients okay so if you're eating mainly plant-based foods okay so foods that haven't come in off of a, of a factory assembly line um, you're going to be getting more than enough nutrients so just make sure that you get a nice broad range and then on top of that uh, just make sure that um, you're getting enough calories in there okay so it's very easy just to eat a couple of dates a couple of bananas and then get incredibly hungry and then reach for you know a hot dog or something because they're so dense in in calories so just make sure that you are getting enough calories in there and then uh, what I was mentioning earlier brings me to my final point and that's and I've made a video on this before but don't reach for the meat substitutes in my opinion meat substitutes are bleached factory processed full of preservatives shite okay don't need to go for them you don't need to reach for the corn or the uh, v vegan sausages or vegan freaking burgers and all the rest of it it's all a load of shit nature has produced so many decent foods so many delicious foods nutrient dense foods there's no need to reach for the bleached processed shite okay and above all else enjoy enjoy this new diet this new lifestyle um, in my experience it's going to make you feel absolutely fantastic you can have tons of energy you're going to be sleeping well you're going to be getting up in the morning you're going to be ready for it you're not going to need a coffee to get yourself um, awake you're not going to need a red wine to put yourself to sleep you're going to be energetic you're going to be ready for life ready for your day ahead um, it's going to be all good okay and just manage it and take it one step at a time and learn as you go okay I'll endeavour to make more videos on, on what I eat and my diet and my lifestyle and all that sort of thing because I know that you guys want to hear about it. Um, but for the meantime, if you like the video, please like as usual, subscribe if you haven't already and please leave me some comments because I do read every single one. I try and respond to every single one. Um, and if you have got any suggestions for what you want to see me do next, please leave them down below. Okay, let's keep it rolling.